in this arena has a money stake in one of our famous couples as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattletales. And here's the star of Tattletales, Bert Cunby. That little switch we made there, huh? Hello, everybody. Thank you. Welcome to Channel 10. Hello. Hello. Oh, are you going to have fun today? I don't want to waste too much time because really we should get back there and meet these people. What a combination. Here they are. Winning money today for the blue section. It's his first time with us, and he and, he and his wife are rookies, and we welcome them. The star of Sanford and Son, Mr. Red Fox and his wife, Joy Fox. <laughs> Winning money today. For the banana section, from Maud, Mr. Bill Macy and his wife, Samantha Harper. And winning money today for the red section, fast Donald Ross and his wife, Patty Deutsch. The other two couples have been here before, Red, but you and Joy are new and, and you're rookies and we welcome you. And you have something else new, which we were just talking about. You're with a new hotel in Las Vegas now? Yes, I'm at the Hacienda. Hacienda. Yeah. Uh, two terrific. nights I've been there. I'll be there from now on. From now on, that's going to be your home yes, in yes. Las Vegas. Right. It's going good? Very good. More, more people than I've ever had before. I can imagine. <laughs> I'm very happy. All right, if you're all ready to go, ladies, this question is for you. It's worth $150 to your rooting sections. And if you're all ready, we'll, we'll visit later. Here we go. Ladies, think back to the first time you met your husband. At that moment. Which of you was more attracted to the other? Okay, when you met your husband, which of you was more attracted to the, to the other at that moment? First time you met, off you go. Uh, and we'll start with you, Red. Well, Joy's awful pretty lady. Well, I met her in the hallway, and I'm sure I was the one most attracted. <laughs> you met her in the hallway? When, yeah, when I, when I met her, I said, I've been waiting for you since 1936. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the good earth in 1936, and I was influenced in Asian culture. I see. And uh, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, you know, the woman walked behind, and then they moved up a little closer. But anyways, uh, I was more attracted. You were more attracted than she was. <laughs> you waiting for you since 1936. Well, here she comes. <laughs> Joy, uh, the first time that you met Red, uh, at that moment, which of you was more attracted to the other? Uh... Would you explain? <laughs> explain again? what I mean? Yes. What I mean was when you first met Red, the first time you ever met him. Yes. Uh, do you think that he was more attracted to you? Did he really want to get involved with you more, or did you think you wanted to get more involved with him? I think him. Him. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I love that. That's like everyone says, well, I don't speak very much English, and then they proceed to nail you, right? <laughs> Not get dead. Thank you, dear. Uh, Thank you. What will Sam say, Bill? Wow, you're taking me back to a time when I was uh, in the audience, uh, not in the audience, in the auditorium of this, uh, someplace like a big cavern, a theater. Thank you. Theater, thank you. And uh, it's a topic. with a director of Oak Calcutta, and uh, this young lady had to audition and she was like scared silly you know and uh, it was Samantha and Jacques Levy the director of that show told me to uh, loosen her up go, go up on stage and loosen her up because she was like really scared and I don't know what I did I most likely said something what Red Fox would say except I said it white you know yes. and, uh, <laughs> and I did try to loosen her up and at that particular moment I may have been more attracted to her, but I don't think so. You think she was more attracted to you? And I don't think she even knew who I was or existed or anything. But just in terms of the question, yes. I'll say, I was more attracted to her. Okay. Which, did, this, was this audition conducted uh, in the buff for all Oak Calcutta? No, in a theater, Bert. Oh, that's right, in a theater. That's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a good answer. Thank you. Right. Here she comes. <laughs> Sam, uh, yes. at the moment, now think back, the first time you met Bill, at that moment, which of the two of you was more attracted to the other? I think he was more attracted to me. That's what the man said, and you're right. And why shouldn't he be? Why shouldn't he be, since he I was dressed? I wonder, certainly understand that. Right. I wonder if she knows it's, if it's the same moment. What moment was it? Do I'm you? thinking of when I was auditioning for Calcutta. That's the same moment. You're right again. 
I mean, Steady why bananas, the he? money's the same. Right. That's it. <laughs> You've got it already. I had never had seen her in the buff. That was the reason. Right, you had your clothes on, so naturally I did had you an have advantage. Your, did you have your clothes off, Sam? Whatever it no, was, no, really. I always say I was attracted by her smile. Yes, I got it. Okay. Uh, Donald, what will Patty say? Which of the two of you was more attracted the first moment you met? I'm still thinking about old Calcutta. Never mind. <laughs> I would say, uh, I'm, I'm positive, uh, that she was more attracted to me. Really? Why? Oh, yes. Why is that? I had a three-piece suit on. Hey. <laughs> well, that explains it. And she had never seen one of those. <laughs> she never seen She had come from a small town and led a very sheltered life. <laughs> and uh, the first time she met me, I was wearing a three-piece suit, and I was sitting down. And then when I stood up, uh, you know, it was all over. She practically wanted to marry me on the spot. <laughs> <It's sad. laughs> It's true, because when I was sitting down, she didn't see the pants. Hey, she oh, just saw the top. She just saw the vest and the coat, thought it was a two-piece suit. Yeah, so, so I'd say it was Patty. It was attractive mm. to me. I don't know if I believe that whole story. Patty is the one. Here she comes. <laughs> Patty, thinking back to the first time you met Donald, yeah. uh, at that moment, which of you was more attracted to the other? Oh, I hate to admit this, but I was crackers about it. That's it. You got it. <laughs> You're all right. We split it three ways. That was easy. We'll come back in a moment. We got a long way to go. Don't miss it. What a wonderful group. See you in a minute. The old neighborhood and Vinny's. Shh, they're coming. I made your old favorite pepperoni. Can't eat that now. This can't be Charlie. I didn't take my Pepsi. I gotta wait. Then we all wait. Oh. Take my Tagamet. You could eat now. When it's too late for Pepsi, it's not too late for Tagamet. You can take Tagamet right when you're going to eat and still prevent heartburn. With Tagamet, you can eat like a kid again. The Matrix on video cassette and DVD. Free your mind. What you couldn't believe at the movies now comes home. It's the movie critics call a virtual masterpiece. Buy or rent it today. I guess it was about a year ago something really different happened to me. The inventor of this machine, the torso track, asked me to give him one minute of my time. I did, and for one minute I did this exercise. I could have done more, but he said, that's enough. Well, the next morning when I woke up, ooh, my stomach burned, my abs burned, my chest, obliques, and my back. I felt like I had spent hours at the gym. I knew I had to have one of these machines. Well, it has been a year now with my torso track, and I just want to say I'm in the best shape of my life. It doesn't matter if you're just starting to work out or if you're Frank Zane, three-time Mr. Universe. Torso Track will adjust to your fitness level. Now, how about giving me a minute of your time? Call and we'll send you a Torso Track to try, risk-free. Call now and we'll send you a Torso Track to try in your own home for one month, risk-free. If you decide to keep it, we'll give you a year to pay, interest-free. Order your Torso Track today. Call 1-800-276-4410. I'd like to give you this world-famous Rascal Scooter free, and there's no purchase necessary. I got my free Rascal. I got mine free. Here's my free Rascal. Here's my free one, too. So if you or anyone you know has trouble getting around, Electric Mobility would like to give you a Rascal Scooter free. Call for this free color catalog and enter the Rascal Mobility sweepstakes. It's our way of introducing you to the benefits of owning a rascal. Every month we give away another free rascal. Over 100 rascals have already been given away. Call today. Don't delay. Next month's winner could be you. Call today to win your rascal scooter free. Call now, 1-800-944-6688, for your chance to win a free rascal. There's no purchase necessary, so call right now, 1-800-944-6688. That's 1-800-944-6688. Call now. Inquisition, Sunday at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on Game Show Network. All right, here we go. Question number two. This is it. Worth $150. At the moment, we have a nice three-way tie, which is a lovely way to start. We'll fix that. Ladies, how often do you feel that you're boring your husband? Frequently, sometimes, or never? How often do you feel that? Okay? How often do you feel that you're boring your husband? Frequently, sometimes, or never. Think about that, ladies. Do you understand, Joy? Uh, yes. How often that you feel that you might be 
boring red, that you would feel that way, uh -huh. okay? All right. Frequently, sometimes, or never. Goodbye. Uh, uh, Bill, what will Sam say to this? <laughs> okay, I'm going to be very logical about this uh -oh. rather than humorous. Oh. For a change. <laughs> that was a laugh line, but nobody wanted to. <laughs> I don't think Samantha would dare say that she never bores me. Yes. Or the converse is also true. You remember Mr. Converse? Yes, Frank Converse. Right. I remember him very well. I don't well. think that she would dare say that she frequently bores me. No. What would so she therefore, say? she will say whatever was in between. Sometimes. Was sometimes. Sometimes she And bores God you. bless her, because yeah. she very, very rarely bores me. Yeah, but sometimes... Any boring to do... Pardon well, me? But sometimes. Not sometimes. Never. We also have never on here, but you don't want to say that. I've handled both the never and the frequently. I'm sorry, Bill. I, it won't ever happen again. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. We'll bring Sam on now. He turn on you, boy. See, oh. Sam, uh, how often do you feel that you're boring your husband? Frequently, sometimes, or never? Never. That's not what he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he in a little trouble? He's just in a little bit of trouble. Is what he's in. Oh, no, he's not really. He... When have I ever bored you? <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Right this minute, you're no. quite boring. He said, he said that hardly ever, 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 but sometimes he's went for some time. Never. I never feel that. That's right. <laughs> That's God his problem altogether. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Oh, this is, I love this. Uh, Donald, what will Patty say? Um, Since you're not wearing a three-piece suit today. Two pieces today. Two pieces today. Both rented. Both rented. Yes. Mm. Mm. From Patty, actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> she wears the pants in it. All right, now hold on. Okay. Uh, I really don't know what to answer because uh, when Patty speaks, I never listen. <laughs> never listen when never. she speaks? Never. Why? <gasps> she always bores the pants off me. That's why you got a two piece so suit on. I'm going to go in the middle. Uh, like Which was uh, frequently, sometimes. Sometimes, I think. Well, I think in any relationship, uh, it, I, you know, to a relationship that lasts, it's got to be, you know, some of each. Yeah. Some so you'll say each. sometimes. Yeah. Here comes Patty now. <laughs> should ask this the other way, too. Patty, there you are. How often yeah. do you feel that you're boring your husband? Frequently, sometimes, or never? With Donald, it's so hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Why, is he a little, uh... Dull. Little dull is what um, the word we were looking for there, yes. I'll go for sometimes. Thank you. Ain't this fun? Ain't this fun? That's man? why our marriage works. I'm dull and she's boring. Yeah. We don't... Ah. We don't... It's never... <laughs> Well, we'll move along. Thank you, Please. the Pickersons. Um, Thank you. Uh, Red, what will Joy say to this? Does she, do you think she ever feels that she's boring you? Well, uh, we've only been married 43 days, so we haven't really had time to, <laughs> to, to up, sift each other's, uh, you know, personality here and there. But I'd say for the 43 days that she's never bored me, not one moment. No, and she doesn't feel that way either. No, not oh, at all. Okay, 43 days, eh? Yeah. They said it wouldn't last. Here That's what goes. they said. <laughs> And ginseng works. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> oh, same thing. Joy, yes. how often do you feel that you're boring your husband? Frequently, sometimes, or never? I think I never. That's it. That's what the man said. You got it. Did you hear that, Bill? Joy and Red and Patty and Donald are right. Split it in half. It's halftime, gentlemen. Step to the rear, if you will. The ladies will come forth. We'll come back with the second half of Tattle Bears. If you don't want to miss, we'll see you tomorrow. If I could fall asleep right now, I could still get six good hours. If you suffer from sleeplessness, even occasionally. I could still get four hours. Four hours is okay. There are a few things you should know. Going without sleep isn't okay. And there is something that can help, called Sleep Solutions from Searle. 
Call this toll-free number now for a free information kit to learn how sleep solutions from Searle can help you and your doctor do something about your sleeplessness. Learn about an innovative approach to sleep therapy that's available only at your doctor and how sleep solutions from Searle is actually helping people just like you reestablish good sleep habits. Your kit even includes an easy-to-use sleep diary to help you and your doctor spot patterns in your sleeplessness. So, instead of watching the clock night after night, call today for your free information kit. Then, talk to your doctor about sleep solutions from Searle. And don't let another sleepless night go by. This is the face of erectile dysfunction. So is this. And this. Fact is, one in three men have some form of ED, a medical condition also called impotence that affects men of every age, race, and background. What else do all these men have in common? They all faced up to their problem and got help. If you're experiencing ED, there's no need to hide your face. Just talk to your doctor. It's the best way to get educated about ED and how to treat it. This is Laura Patterson. She's saving a bundle on long-distance calls to grandma using MCI Five Cents every day. When Laura was born, I counted on mom to talk me through everything. She'd call two, three times a day. How do I do this? How do I do that? Mom was always calling me. It was like we rediscovered each other. Then we got the phone bills. No college tuition for you. Oh. Now we use MCI Five Cents every day. It's brand new. Calls are just five cents a minute every evening and five cents a minute all weekend long. That's half the price of AT&T for these calls. And that's good. And you can get daytime calls the rest of the week for just 10 cents a minute. Now we can call each other any day of the week without worrying about the cost. Whether it's just to shoot the breeze or for the really important stuff. It's grandma. Oh, MCI five cents every day. To sign up, call 1-800-298-0705. Say hi, Grandma. Ask about our great international rates, too. Hello, I'm Moon Zappa. Watch Rock and Roll Jeopardy on Game Show Network. Weekends at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. This game rocks. What is this? Okay, we've changed places after halftime. As you can see, I have three really, truly lovely ladies. And the fellas ain't bad either. Fellas, we have two-thirds of a tie. Donald, you're tied with red with 125 bucks for your rooting sections. Bill, you have 50. Here we go. Men, the companies that specialized in bronzing only baby shoes are now bronzing various articles of clothing for sentimental adults. What article of your wife's clothing would you choose to have bronzed? Oh, no. Okay? Just think that over, fellas, and we'll come back and find out in just a moment. Uh, Patty? Uh, uh huh what do you think Donald would choose of yours to have bronzed? Oh. What would be a good idea, do you think? Fit. Fit. It's got an article of mine. Yeah, I, mean, I, know, would... I know what he would want bronzed of his own. But what would that be? His hat. His hat, that's right, yeah. He's always but got a hat. But something of mine? Yeah. Don't you have oh, a favorite my... article of clothing, or does he have a favorite? I do, but he hates it. What is it? My flannel granny gown. <laughs> a bronze granny flannel gown? It's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He w I don't think he would have that bronze. Well, he might. He, no, he despises it in then his present form. Then he wouldn't. Form. He wouldn't want it to... Is there something form. special that you wear that he would like? <sighs> I don't want to give you a hint, but I remember your needlepoint boots, which were really beautiful. Oh, he hates those, hates too. Hates those, too. He found out what they cost. <laughs> oh, my dear! Something dear. that he really... A bronze dear. Yeah, why not? You could do that. I the suit I'm wearing. The suit you're wearing? Yeah. He likes that? Well, he got it for me. He did? Let's see Some... it. Oh. That's gorgeous. Thank okay. you. You'll say the suit you're wearing? Yes, because I can't think of anything oh. else. All right, from satin to bronze, here he comes. Donald, what article of Patty's clothing would you choose to have bronzed? What a question. Yes. Shh, 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 shh. I'm going to say as delicately as possible. Her panties. No, that's not what Patty said. What a great 
Why that didn't answer? Why didn't that happens that? to be the part I want bronze. Yeah. I don't care what Batty said. Boy, it'd get tiresome wearing those around, wouldn't it? <laughs> Bronze panties. Well, it certainly what, could happen. What See, I was right the first time when I said fat. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, did Pat, what did Patty say? She said something uh, very close to that. She said the suit she's wearing today, which you bought for her. You picked it out and bought it. That's true, I did. Yeah, but that wasn't it. Sorry, wow. Donald, but uh, nice try. Joy, what will Red say? What would he choose of your clothing to have bronzed? Oh, this tough question. <laughs> <laughs> Would you give me more time? <laughs> sure. You want to think about it a minute? You understand, well, you understand the question, don't you? You know how you've seen the baby shoes that are bronze. Yes. It, so that's the question. It's, it's silly, but uh, we just want to know if there was any particular piece of clothing you have that uh, Red might choose to have bronzed. You want more time to think about it? Uh, a lady just yelled out your bra. bra. <laughs> <laughs> Could be that. Uh, Pants. <laughs> Pants? Or like Patty said? Yes. Yes. No, like what this is? thing. Like said. Donald said. That's what right. Is? I'm sorry. You want to go for that? Yes. Okay. Let's try that then. Here comes Red. Oh, I don't know. That's... Pantyhose. Wait a minute. Hold it. Pantyhose? Really? Bronze pantyhose. Oh, what a great idea. We'd never get a run in them, would you? <laughs> it lasts forever. Okay. Pantyhose. Here comes Red. <laughs> Red. What article of Joy's clothing would you choose to have bronze? Well, it's between uh, boots and wedding dress. That's not what it's between. You know what Joy said? What did she say? She said her pantyhose. <laughs> I didn't think Asians would mention that. <laughs> <laughs> because the uh, Orients mentioned that. Pant no, pants. sorry, Red, but you were close. It was very good. Uh, boots are a good one, too. That's pantyhose, what that. go between pantyhose. boots. Go between and boots and a wedding dress. And a wedding dress. <laughs> yeah. It's part of the ensemble, isn't it? Yes, that's true. Uh, Sam, what will be, nobody's gotten this right yet. It's kind of hard, How can you get this right? Yeah, it's I mean, it's impossible to get this. You can only get in trouble with this question. That's true. <laughs> Bill doesn't care anything about any clothes. Doesn't. I mean, you know, he just says, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> you know? Uh... I'm really, I'm really stumped. Um. <laughs> oh, Red. <laughs> Can I have your answer? Sure. No, I'll take his answer. I don't wear one. That's uh, my first Doesn't thought also, but I don't so, wear Well, then one. maybe it's because it would be bronze. Any, other, any other things from the yellow section? Okay, panties. Panties. I'll go with, this is from the yellow section because they are married yeah, to my so. husband. <laughs> from a couple of guys in the third row. Right. This is right. from a couple of guys in the third row. Okay, you're going to say panties. Okay, here comes The yellow section. Bill, Bill uh, no one's gotten this right yet, so you can get the whole 150 bucks and forge into the lead here for the bananas. What article of Sam's clothing would you choose to have bronzed? Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, something I've never seen. And I would like to, and one way we can do that is to have it bronzed. And you know, just and show it around the house. Uh, her bra. No. That is a it was a she doesn't life. wear one. Oh. But she would like to take one and, memor and to remember it, right? For <laughs> posterity. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Nobody got it right. It was very hard to do. Now, this $150 oh, question goes over to our to $300 question, making it worth $450. Oh. And we will come back and play for that $450. Neutrogena hand cream developed in Norway for Arctic fishermen to protect their hands. Five years of clinical tests prove it works better at rapidly healing dry skin and at retaining moisture longer. That's why it's trusted by dermatologists. Neutrogena hand cream, it works better. People are talking about the great taste of Vlasic pickles like never before. One of Vlasic pickle? Okay. Now that's the best tasting pickle I ever hide. Vlasic pickles. Try them and you might say... Now that's the best tasting pickle I ever heard. He's not here yet. Can't wait till the holidays? Want to make cookies? <laughs> Start celebrating now. <laughs> Is that him? Not yet. Pillsbury sugar and new gingerbread cookies. Fun cookies you create and decorate together. Because it's the little moments that make the holidays. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Oh, Merry Christmas! <laughs>
one question. Three possible answers. Decide quickly. One question. Three possible answers. Decide. Decide quickly. Repeat for 30 minutes. Can you survive? Inquisition. Weeknights at 7 and 11 Eastern, only on Game Show Network. Okay, this question, since no one got the other one right, is worth $450, and obviously this will decide the game for the day. So, fellas, tense up. Here we go. We have to move it kind of fast. Which seems to slip away faster these days, your time or your money? Okay, think it over. Goodbye. Well, everybody can identify with that, I think. Sam, we'll start with you and Bill. I would say goes? money. He'll say money seems I'm, to slip I'm away. I'm going to say money because he's still working, and so time can't slip away fast enough until he can play tennis every day. I got it. Okay. So I'm saying money. So the money is the one. Here he comes. That's, that's interesting. Which seems to slip away faster these days, Bill? Your time or your money? Money. That's it. My golly. Yeah, my All right. See, I know about I wouldn't money. have thought that. Yeah, Thank have... you, Bill. You're welcome. Joy, what do you think Red will say? What slips away faster, time or money? Money? Money. Seems to go fast, doesn't it? I guess it does. Here he comes. Red, which seems to slip away faster these days from you, your time or your money? Uh, time. No, Greg said money. It's interesting, because Bill said money, too, and I thought you guys were going to really reverse the trend. No, she said, uh, she said money. Okay? Money doesn't slip away from you, does it? No, we have money all the time. Yeah. You got it. So, uh, you know, why worry about it? Don't have time to spin it. That's it. <laughs> Betty, what will Donald say? Time or money? This is for the game. Donald will say time. Yeah, money never slips away from Donald. Hasn't yet. <laughs> we don't call him fast Donald for nothing, do we? No, no. Okay, you'll say, he will say time. Yeah. Here he comes. <laughs> Donald, this will decide the game. Really. I mean, if you get this, you win. But if you don't, Sam and Bill will come from $50 to win the whole thing. That hasn't happened in a long time. Here it is. Which seems to slip away faster these days? Your time or your money? I'm going to say time. That's what the lady said. And you're right. Patty and Donald are right. Sam and Bill are right. Our time is up. And the red section wins it and just barely. <laughs> we will return in just a moment and give the red section their money. And now only a little bit of time. Sue thinks Steve likes it in the morning. Lisa thinks he likes to get it at lunch, but Steve actually prefers watching the news in the evening. He's thinking Julie still has a thing for him. He's thinking Julie still wants him. Julie's thinking, did I leave the iron on? All new Three's a Crowd, weeknights at 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific, only on Game Show Network. People are talking about the great taste of Vlasic pickles like never before. Here, my dear, try a Vlasic pickle. Why, thank you, dear. Now that's the best tasting pickle I ever had. Hey, Jimmy, want to trade? Sure. Want a Vlasic pickle? Okay. Now that's the best tasting pickle I ever had. Vlasic pickles. Try them and you might say... You're just too good to be true. Now there's loads of Hallmark Christmas cards for just 99 cents. Look for them everywhere Hallmark is sold. We get really dry skin. Dry, itchy skin. For dry, itchy skin, these non-medicated moisturizers all fall short of Gold Bond Medicated Body Lotion. Triple Action Gold Bond Moisturizers protects and stops itch. Gold Bond Medicated Body Lotion. More than a moisturizer, it's medicated. Face the media. While some folks couldn't sleep, you were peacefully sleeping thanks to new Simply Sleep from the makers of Tylenol PM. It's non-habit forming and eases you into a restful night's sleep. New Simply Sleep. When you're active, the last thing you want is an itch of dandruff. Introducing Head & Shoulders Refresh. It helps prevent dandruff and its refreshing formula feels stimulating on the scalp. Head & Shoulders Refresh, our refreshing way to help prevent dandruff. So firm, so squeezably soft. This Burt Ludden must be too fly. See, people love me. Burt Ludden's Love Buffet, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific on Game Show Network. Stick around. Up next, television will never be the same again after Extreme Gong, followed by two aliens and the lady they love on Trout and Neck.
Well, it was quite a day. I hope you saw it. Donald and Patty did it for the red section, won $350. We had 1000 The red section will divide $1,350, which is very nice. Thank you all. We'll see you next time. I hope you'll see us too. Bert Comey saying wow. so long. Bye, everybody. Thank you. This is Gene Wood speaking for Tattletales. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Thank <laughs> you.